Oh, fudge got him gone. Two six nine classic cars. Come take a ride with us, we got it all. High rides to muscle cars. Turn the dream cruise class. I like that 66, no, but that's the A to go to fast. Chevelle on 4G Auto Rims. One on one whips, these ain't average. Two six nine, two six nine classic cars. Two six nine, two six nine classic cars. Key. I need your services. <laughs> Tell me what we about to do to this. I gotta put this on my video. I need to let my, uh, I got like 1.4 million subscribers on 269 class of cars, allegedly. So uh, I need to let them know that we getting rid of this, right? All this work I had these guys do. These guys, well, I ain't gonna say that guy right there. <laughs> so we about to, uh, What's the reason why we put the quarters on there now? The quarter panel underneath the old, or underneath that quarter panel. <laughs> so we gonna get rid of this right here. And then what we doing, we cutting it, where we gonna cut it at? And I don't know where that's at. Keith, this is your expertise. I'm gonna own the joint one day, but I don't own it right now, so you gotta tell me where we gonna cut it. Show me where we gonna cut it at. <laughs> so it's gonna be along here somewhere? So that's considered a half a quarter. That's not a all the way across. So all that's gonna be new. All right. So is Doug pissed yet? What Doug at? Is he here? Is, is Doug pissed that we cutting this? Is Doug pissed that I'm cutting that out? Doug's pissed. Oh my God. <laughs> so we gonna cut all that out. So that's gonna be new. Yes, you are. <laughs> That's going to be new. Now I should show you the. Doug, you here? Huh? You say Doug not here? Oh, he's in the booth? My dad was going to fix it for you. Fix what? Um, you'd have to ask him, but something with your uh, your timing and your uh, vacuum. The timing in the vacuum? Yeah. What was it doing? You know how when you shut your car off, uh -huh. you know how it's running hot? It's not running hot. It's not? It's not like it. When you shut the key off, it kind of burbles down. Uh-huh. Because of your vacuum and your timing being set way in advance, your vacuum here is supposed to be connected. To where? Up under, where was it at? I think it's at, yeah, right, right up here. That nipple there. It's supposed to be right there? Yeah. You got it blocked off, and that's why when you shut the car off, it's burning the gas too hot, and that's why it burbles down. You probably got your timing set way in advance, too. But he was going to talk to you and fix all that. Where is he at? Let's go find him. Look, I'm going to make you famous, man. Say, say hi, man, damn. They had to 269. They gonna be coming to see you guys. So he said, you say it's running hot? This is the man right here, guys, just so everybody know. You gonna fix it for me? He says it's running hot, it's not running hot. You don't mean running hot, you just mean like, don't listen to him. All right, I ain't gonna listen. That's what you were telling me. What? Who don't listen? No, Father and son. Uh oh, we gonna turn this to a fight. Father and son fight. <laughs> you notice, like, I when I it. turn it off, it don't want to cut off. Yeah. That's because the ignition timing is set up for you. Okay. I can set up your ignition timing and the way they got it. You, after I do it, I'll retune the car. Mm -hmm. and you'll get. Well, that's what you Lucas should have more saying. power, yeah. you should get better gas mileage, and it won't diesel when you shut it off. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. Yeah. See, these guys, they I take care of me. By looking at it, I'm like, yeah, because he was just showing me the holes or something, right? You say the right. holes? They got, they got the vacuum. vacuum advance. So when you go to accelerate, you're not putting any more timing other than what's in the mechanical advance in the distributor, uh -huh. which is only about eight degrees maybe. Um, 
really, they probably got too much ignition timing. Your timing is probably too advanced. Mm -hmm. That's why it diesels when you shut it off. Right. And when I start it up, it's running real fast, like it's like accelerating. It's like, and then like, right. so it's, I know what you're talking about, because when I put it in gear, it kind of like want to take off. As soon as I put it in drive, and it wasn't doing that before. I can fix that. You can fix that? Just do it for no. All right, here go the guy that don't do a damn thing around here. No. <laughs> hey, I need to see you, man. Come on, man. What? We got to get some more stuff ordered. No. Hey, I appreciate that. I'm not yelling at you, man. Come on. I I'm feeling good today. <laughs> we are done. We done. Did you ever see it on my new bumpers? I got new bumpers. Let's see what... Where the, where the old bumper at? I don't know. That's the old bumper right there. So this is the old bumper right here. Do you got everything you need off of this bumper? I got a guy interested in that bumper. I uh, got to get all the brackets off. Of get all the brackets off? Okay. So when he get it, he going to have to, well, I ain't worried about it. He got to get all that himself. So this bumper don't come with none of that? Just the shell? rubber part must be coming, you know, the center must be coming. There's some shit they didn't And have. what's all this shit right here? That's all seals and all Oh, here go the rubber shit right here. This is the, oh, there, it is. there it go, right okay, there. it is there. It is there, yeah. All right. All right. I didn't go through that. So we didn't take the other one off. All right, let me put this back in the box so it don't get much messed up. So we got all the rubber. What else we got in here? This is all the windows up in the uh, door jam for the door jam. So I wonder if it got all the brackets on there. Why you got a guy wants to buy it right now from you? I mean, he. I told him when you get done with it, he got to wait. Yeah. He wanted, but he ain't finna do nothing with it. It don't matter. I can have Derek probably transfer all these parts and, and then uh, Man. to the new one. Yeah. But it'd be better. To he asked me what I was gonna do it. with it. He said he got somebody that wanted. He uh, said he knows somebody that could use it. Okay. So, you try to take all these brackets yeah, here off? Because there's nothing really wrong with the bumper. I mean, there's something wrong with it. It ain't new, dude. It's, it's pitting. Can you see how it's pitting a little bit? Is this him? Want, they want it? No. Oh. So, since we going to... No, I'm recording, man. It's a 269 classic car. Like <laughs> no. No, I'm trying to find out everything you're getting, so I know and I look back and uh, when I'm... All new seals. All new seals. Bunch of molding. Bunch of molding. Door handles. Indoor handles. In... Handles. Oh, the door handles, right. Cowl duct handles. Okay. Trunk handles. You getting All trunk? Leather strip. Okay. Now he told me the doors was good. The only thing I needed was the bottom of the uh, quarters, right? The wheel. The wheel oh yeah, the, it's putting wheel housing on there too. Quarter skins. Quarter skins. And outer wheel housing. And outer wheel housing. Okay. My thing is. He done did all this work right here. All this work right here. He done did, and now I'm about to get rid of it. Hey, what's up, buddy? Another day, another dollar. I'm trying to figure out why he ain't covered up my wheels yet. <laughs> Dude, them ain't no damn crackers, man. I ain't trying. I ain't trying to disrespect nobody who does have crackers, but uh, I'm trying to figure out why he ain't covered my wheels up. <laughs> hey, sir, you in the blue hoodie? Can we get the wheels covered up, manager? <laughs> yeah. That's a vacuum leak right there. That'll make it idle high. Okay. And yeah, he was telling me that that should be going up in the here. Uh huh. 
This should be going up to the port on the side of the carburetor right up here on the front metering block. Okay. And then this line really should be going to this vacuum port on the bottom of the carburetor here. Right there. Right. And when you set it, so when you start it up, it idles fast. Okay. Uh, what you want to do is let it run for a few minutes so it'll kind of warm up. I do, yeah, 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 I know what that. What you do before you put it in gear, just hit the gas pedal just real Knock quick. Knock the, um, and it'll idle down. Idle down, because right. Because that's the fast idle can on the carburetor. But, but even the issue when you... is, it's going to idle high because this is a vacuum leak. Okay. And then, um, yeah, your ignition timing's not set correctly. I can tell you that. That's why it diesels when you shut it off. Mm hmm. So. And you gonna take care of all that? I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll fix that. It ain't right? a big deal. I just gotta bring in my timing light and uh, vacuum gauge put on the carburetor so I can tune the car. Okay. But you should get. And I'm gonna notice a big difference then. You should notice. Yeah. It should be, get. A, it should get a little. Because I thought it was the carburetor. It's not, just not set up for it. Okay. That's a quick fuel brawler carb. I looked at the carb earlier. Those are good, good fuels, good. Good, yep. good stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I don't need no carburetor. I was wondering about that. I was like, damn, I think I'm going to need another carburetor. Okay, well, that's good to know. That'll save me some money there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was... I used to go up to Martin Dragway a lot and run cars up there. Mm -hmm. And um, I went up there one night... And a buddy I worked with, his cousin was up there, and he had a uh, he had a '66 Chevy Two Nova, and uh, I, I raced him one race. Mm -hmm. and he, he looked like a thirteen thirty. I was like, man, that car's pretty bad. I talked to him, and he was, he was throwing a fit. He's like, man, he goes, this thing ought to be running like elevens, you know. And right. He's telling me what all the motor had. I'm like, man. I'm like, I asked him. I said, well, what's your timing set at? He goes, well, I don't know. He goes, my my cousin set it for me. So I was like, well, I got a timing light in my car, so I went over and got it. Yeah. Hooked it up. And he only had, like, total timing at 3,000 RPM was only, like, 16 degrees. Okay. Small block Chevy is usually, like, 30 to 36. Okay. So I cranked it back to 30. I said, let's start there and go run it. See if, see if it helped. Let's see what that did. He took it out there. It went from a 1330 down to a 1280. Okay. He come back in. I put two more degrees in it. Then he dropped to a 1240. Come back in. I put two more degrees in it. Then he ran an 1190. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And that was the only problem. That's all it needed. Yeah, but by, by the time I did that, mm -hmm. he was thinking it was a carburetor issue, and he was already right, like me. That's what I was, he was thinking. Changing shit on the carb and stuff, and he probably made it worse. Right. You know, but um, but yeah. But now I was looking at it earlier, and I saw the vacuum advance board. I'm not videotaping you. Get back if you don't want to be on here now. I mean, I got 1.4. Million subscribers, dude. Do you know how many? You do not have that I do, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, I have 1.4 million subscribers, are you, man. Are you still uh, yes, look at this. What's all this dust right here? What's this stuff here? Hey, hey Greg, can we get the uh, tires wrapped up, man? I've only been asking for two days now. I mean, if you give it to me, I'll wrap them up. Hey, man, these are not Craigers, dude. Hey, man, these guys don't know what the hell that is on my car. That's all right. When Greg be like, all right, time to pay me, Brian. I'll be like, uh, remember them damn wheels I kept asking you to wrap up? <laughs> that you didn't wrap up? Now I got to buy new wheels. So guess who in the hell ain't getting paid now? You know what, the, you know what that F stand for on these wheels? Y'all don't even know what that F stands for. I know. You don't know what that stands for? No. Fuck them up if you won't. You go. <laughs> that what that F stands for? Fuck, fuck them up if you want. <laughs> Brown ain't gonna be paying for this damn paint job. Y'all gotta keep them covered up, man. They out here treating my car like uh, I got uh uh uh, uh Craigers. <laughs> All right, man. What the hell we got right here? I don't know what the fuck. Look at this dude. 
Man, I done brought my card out here. But it's gonna be, hey man, did y'all look up Rick Ross yet? Keith, you don't know, you know who Rick Ross is? See man, y'all don't know. Y'all going to Rick Ross show with me. Yeah. I'm taking y'all to the Rick Ross car show. We're gonna have a good time, man. This is why I'm getting my car painted. That's why I'm here getting it painted. So I can take it to the Rick Ross car show. The show I've been telling you about June 1st. That's where I want to take it to. He said he should have it done in time for me to go. But I don't want to rush him. But he said he can have it ready for me. So we'll see. That's what, damn. That's only what, three weeks? God damn it, I might not be able to make it. God. All right, man. We're going to see. Brown and Brown, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys have my car ready. Hey, I'll see y'all guys on the next uh, video too. 269 Classic Cars, thanks for watching. We go. Ah. Hold on, hold on. I said out, but wait a minute. Look at it. Yeah, they asked me, do I feel better? We back. Yeah, yeah, look at that, look at that. Yes, I feel a whole lot better now. Look at that. I feel a whole lot better. Yes. I'm gonna sleep good tonight now. My wheels wrapped up. Yeah. Man, you guys all right. What y'all want for breakfast in the morning? Whatever you can make. On my way to work, I'm gonna stop by, man. Bring some uh, more donuts. <laughs> you don't, don't bring no donuts. Bring some hot cakes. Yeah. All right, man. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Uh, uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about these guys right here. Hey, they can't wait to see this car done. If it ain't wet, wet, they want it wet like a like a porn star. <laughs> they want it wet. No, they want it wetter than a porn star. <laughs> they want it wet. They want it so wet. Look at this. Look, when you stick your hand in there, it just go through the car. It's like come out, <laughs> and I shake my hand. Orange just be falling. Shake my hand, it's, it's so wet, the orange still on, and it's a week later. All right, man. Let me get out of here. 269 Classic Cars, man. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, taking time out to check this video out. Hit that like button, leave me a comment. We about to get this thing wetter than a porn star. See you guys soon. We gone. Out. 269, 269 Classic Cars. Two six nine, two six nine, classic cars.